Hello guys and welcome to my new series of tutorials. Uh, in this series of tutorials uh, we will concentrate on uh, how to create an inventory system for uh, the, blend the Blender game engine. So uh, we will not use just uh, Blender, the sim simple Blender, uh, but we will uh, use uh, Blender game engine also. Uh, first of all, before I begin, I want to say that uh, if you ho don't have any previous experience on uh, Python programming language for Blender game engine, uh, maybe you should first uh, watch some tutorials, some introductory tutorials on uh, uh, Python for Blender game engine uh, before uh, you watch this tutorial. And that's uh, why, that's uh, because uh, I'm going to, to extensively use uh, Python uh, for this tutorial. So if you, during uh, the, watch, the watching of this video, if you understand, if you find out that uh, you don't understand what is going on, maybe uh, you need to go some uh, steps back and uh, learn a little bit more uh, Python for Blender Game Engine. Okay, we can start now and uh, we will start outside Blender. Uh, what uh, we are going to do? Uh, first of all, uh, if we want to create an inventory system or a game generally, uh, we will probably need uh, some uh, databases. Uh, uh, for example, uh, for our for our weapons, uh, we need a database that uh, will contain uh, all the properties uh, of all the weapons uh, of the game, uh, because a weapon is not uh, defined uh, just by three D mesh or by its physics. Uh, but also it uh, has uh, some uh, unique uh, properties and uh, we need uh, a database uh, from where we, we will be able to retrieve this information and apply it uh, to the, to the object of uh, our weapon, armor, uh, etc. And uh, what uh, these properties are? Uh, first of all, a weapon has uh, its damage, uh, its value, uh, it's uh, damage type, it can be piercing, blunt or slashing, uh, the way it's wielded, uh, one-handed uh, or two-handed, uh, if it is a bow or a, a sword, and we need a database that will contain all this uh, information. Okay, for this reason, uh, what you need uh, is to create a simple database. You can select any method you want. Uh, you can use an SQL database, you can use an XML file. Uh, for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use something uh, much more uh, simpler and something that I think uh, every computer has installed, a spreadsheet application. So I'm going to create uh, a new spreadsheet. I'm going to name it DB Weapons from Database Weapons. And then I'm going to create my initial database. Uh, what I need for uh, this database, what uh, properties uh, do my weapons need? First of all, I need an ID for each of my weapons, and uh, uh, this will be the identifier of the object uh, in the game. So I need a, I, an, a single and unique ID for each of my objects. Uh, next I'm going to need uh, another category will be the name of the object, whether it is a short sword, uh, a battle axe or something like that. Uh, we need uh, its name uh, so the player uh, will know uh, what the each uh, weapon uh, uh, refers to. Uh, furthermore, we need the damage, the value, and uh, maybe damage type, or uh, if it is one-handed, one-handed or two-handed. And uh, anyway, uh, you can add uh, as many uh, properties uh, as you want, but uh, for this tutorial. I'm going to add just another uh, column and I'm going to call it header uh, type. 
where I'm going to specify whether it is uh, 100, 200 or a projectile or a bow or something like that. So having created uh, the headers of my columns, I'm going to start adding my data. And for naming, for naming the identifiers, I'm going to use a single letter, let's say W for a weapon, followed by a four digit number. And this uh, gives me uh, the uh, doing this uh, I I will be able to create uh, about uh, two th ten thousand different uh, uh, IDs for my objects for my weapons uh, I think it's uh, it's more than enough so let's create our first weapon which will be identified in blender game engines with the identifier w301 uh, and let's say that it is a short sword and that its damage is 5 and that its value is 10 and type let's say uh, 1 Okay, so let's create our second weapon. I don't like this dot here. Okay, let's create our second weapon and let's say that it is a battle axe that does 8 damage and that costs, let's say, 15 gold coins and that it is a, a 2 weapon and so on I will create a bow a small bow let's make this capital a small bow a small bow uh, a bow won't do any damage because I don't know maybe uh, someone <laughs> can start smashing the other the enemies with a bow, no, uh, we need uh, arrows and arrows uh, will do our damage and let's say its value is 4 and type bow excuse me, we need one more digit here and finally I will create my arrows, pack of arrows, a pack of arrows arrows and let's say that they do damage 3 and that they cost 5 gold coins and they are arrows ok let's say that this is the database of uh, of our game the weapons database of our game uh, and we have uh, enough uh, categories, enough uh, properties uh, to be identified and to, to be used in the game. We know that our W0001 uh, weapon is a short sword that deals uh, 5 damage and that it costs 10, 10 uh, gold coins and that it is a one-handed weapon. You could add other categories such as uh, the condition of uh, the weapon, if it is worn or if it is new or maybe some special abilities uh, the sword might have but uh, for this, for now, I'm not going to add any more categories and uh, what I'm going to add is two more categories and uh, this uh, has to do with my inventory system and uh, not uh, the weapons uh, by themselves and uh, what uh, this uh, uh, to understand it, we have to go to a pack of arrows uh, we know that uh, in the game sometimes when you pick up uh, items uh, you don't pick up a single item but uh, some packs of them uh, let's say that uh, for these arrows uh, that uh, each pack uh, that you pick from the ground uh, consists of 10 arrows so I have to say uh, that uh, this item that you will pick or that you will have in your inventory uh, will initially contain 10 arrows so I need another uh, another uh, column that will have the header quantity 
and this is the number of uh, the weapons of uh, the objects uh, that uh, w that uh, will be uh, in uh, uh, one uh, drop item so if I see a short sword in uh, the ground and I will pick it up then I will going to pick up one short sword the same for the axe and the same for the bow but for the pack of arrows let's say that when you pick up a pack of arrows it contains 10 arrows so in my inventory there will be added uh, 10 arrows instead of uh, a single uh, a single arrow uh, furthermore what I need to know uh, in my inventory is uh, the maximum quantity uh, per slot uh, if I pick a short sword it's going to uh, to fill uh, one slot in my uh, inventory and if I pick up a second sword then it's going to uh, to fill another slot in my inventory so two slots of my inventory uh, will be filled uh, with two sword axes so a max quantity I'm going to add the number uh, of uh, the maximum uh, objects of the same kind that uh, can uh, fill uh, the same slot uh, for the short sword it will be one for the battle axe it will be one and for the small bow it's going to be one but for the pack of arrows let's say that it's going to be 30 and uh, what does uh, this mean if you pick up a pack of arrows uh, 10 of them are going to fill uh, a slot in your inventory uh, if you pick up another pack of arrows uh, the new 10 arrows uh, they won't uh, go to another to a new slot they won't fill uh, a new slot but they will be added uh, to the already existing uh, 10 arrows uh, in your uh, in your slot and then you are going to have a slot with that uh, is uh, filled with 20 arrows and this will go on uh, until we have reached uh, the, th uh, the limit of 30 arrows uh, then if you pick up uh, more arrows then uh, the new arrows uh, they are going to fill a new slot so you will have two slots one with 30 arrows and the other with 10 arrows so practically what I'm going what I'm saying here is that I here I have the maximum uh, number of items that can the maximum number of items of one kind that, that can fill uh, an inventory slot so I'm finished uh, with uh, my uh, database of course you are going to add much more uh, much uh, uh, you are going to add uh, many and more uh, items so you will, will go on ww05 and so on until you have included all uh, the weapons uh, that are uh, that will be in your game and of course uh, you can create it uh, you can create other databases for uh, for the armor or for the characters uh, for the quests and then you can add uh, all uh, the fields uh, that you want uh, well what we are going to do next is that we are going to save this database and we are going to import it in blender and uh, I'm saving this file to keep it as a backup and I'm going also to save it press uh, save as and select the CSV uh, data type and uh, what is a CSV? CSV is, uh, is an acronym for, for comma separated values files and uh, what uh, does it do? let me save it first as a CSV file it has some uh, messages here, some warnings, but just press OK and Yes. And uh, your uh, CSV file will be created uh, just uh, uh, perfect. Uh, what uh, does a CSV file? First of all, a CSV file is a simple text file. And uh, here in our spreadsheet, we see that we have our cells and that these cells uh, separate uh, each uh, element, each value from the other. Uh, but in a simple text file we don't have cells so we need some identifiers uh, these identifiers are called uh, separators or delimiters that uh, separate 
uh, the different uh, values uh, from each other and I'm going to okay sorry no I'm going to leave uh, my spreadsheet application and I'm going to open with uh, word processing uh, application uh, my CSV file so if I open this file we see it has we see some differences first of all uh, we see that there are no cells and this is uh, logic uh, logical because a text uh, file doesn't uh, have uh, any cells so how can we separate uh, our values from each other you can see that there is a semicolon uh, between uh, two different uh, values so using uh, this method we can separate uh, our uh, our different values okay so we are done with our database and we have a text file that contains uh, all the information that we need so next step is that we are going to open our blender and uh, we are going to import uh, the uh, the database uh, in blender and after we import uh, the database we are going to uh, to transform it uh, to okay let me see a couple things okay we are going to uh, store this information in uh, an external file so we are going to from blender we are going to retrieve uh, the information of the CSV file and we are going to store it uh, to another file and this file will be encrypted so that uh, the players won't be able to change uh, the data uh, that is uh, inside uh, the, the encrypted file because here uh, one could easily open uh, the file and change uh, the values of uh, the items, change the properties of the items, and we don't want that. Uh, we want an uh, encrypted file that can be accessed from Blender and uh, from which we will be able to retrieve uh, the information we need and process it uh, inside the game. And uh, when we are finished uh, with uh, changing uh, the properties, uh, we want to be able to store uh, this information uh, in the same file. And this will help us uh, keep uh, our inventory and of course uh, keep an autosave uh, system but uh, we're going to see how we can apply this uh, this method uh, to create an inventory system and uh, i think that uh, this is enough knowledge for uh, today uh, so i'm going to finish uh, with this uh, part and uh, that's beca because i want uh, to in the next uh, part I'm going to uh, let me sorry where is the game the game logic okay in the next part uh, we're going to write some codes and I want you to be concentrated uh, from the beginning in uh, what uh, we're going to do uh, so for now just uh, create your databases uh, add as many objects and you as you want, add as many properties for uh, every object as you want and create as many databases as you like and uh, we will see how we are going to take advantage of uh, these databases uh, in the next uh, part uh, until then uh, have fun and uh, keep practicing uh, with Blender uh, thank you for watching